What's up you guys? I am back with another sneaker video today and today it's going to be something a little different, something a little out of the ordinary, at least for myself. And that is something that you guys have been asking from me. It's something that I've wanted to do, which is share with you guys my top 10 favorite pairs in my collection of which this pair is actually not one, even though I do love it. That being said, there's going to be some shoes here that you might not like. And there's going to be some shoes missing that you might like. So just again, keep in mind, we all have different opinions when it comes to sneakers, colors, materials, highs, mids, lows. We all have different tastes and it's all good. It's what makes us sneaker heads. So enjoy the video and let's count down my top 10 favorite pairs in my collection. All right, coming in at the number 10 spot, this pair has probably been in my collection the longest. It is none other than the New Balance 1400 Super Team 33 in the Butterfly Fish colorway. Yo, this collab is bonkers. As we zoom in, you can see here, it actually has gills all over the shoe. Super Team 33 there stitched on the back. They did three different fish inspired shoes with this collaboration. Of course, the yellow and black being my personal favorite. This is one of the coolest pairs that I own. Comes in an actual fish tank style box. Just love everything that New Balance did with this shoe. And it is number 10 on my list. Black dead. Number nine spot. And for those of you who know me, this might be a surprise because, well, Hint, hint, packaging is right next to me. It is none other than the Nike SB Low Ben & Jerry's Chunky Dunky. Yo, I know I said that that New Balance pair was a crazy collaboration. This is the craziest collaboration. We have faux cow fur all over the shoe. We have dripping ice cream swooshes. We have inside the sock liner and sole some lovely tie dye, which I've always been a big fan of. We got greens, yellows, sky blues all over this pair. It is only number nine, which means there are eight pairs in my collection that I actually like more than this one. So let's get to it. Number eight, we're gonna get louder than what number nine was. The Nike Air Jordan 1 High J Balvin Coloris. This shoe is bonkers. This is definitely a shoe that anytime you wear it, it's an attention getter. My favorite thing about this shoe actually is the subtle pinks that you see all over the sole, as well as that spongy tongue and the shoelaces here because it really helps offset these very loud, vibrant blues, greens, reds, and yellows that J Balvin used based off of his Coloris album. One of the coolest things, again, is just the fact that Jordan is not afraid to do these partnerships with artists such as J Balvin and make something that is totally unique to the artist that a lot of us as fans of both Jordan and the artist can really enjoy. This is something that I am very happy to have in my collection and it's steadily risen up the ranks for me. And it sits here currently at the number eight spot. All right, heading into number seven, we're gonna tone it down a little bit. Nah, we're definitely not. We're gonna keep this thing moving with the Nike Air Max One Atmos Animal Print. Man, if you guys have not already been able to tell, when it comes to sneakers, I really do like my shoes loud. Now granted, the colors on this shoe are not loud like the Chunky Dunky or the J Balvin Jordans, but the all over print of different types of animal faux fur. So we've got tiger, we've got zebra, we've got giraffe, leopard print. And again, it all has that really cool feel to it, the touch. This is probably one of my favorite pairs just to wear out and about. Again, it's definitely an attention getter, especially when you're wearing shorts. Atmos has done a lot of really cool collabs with Nike. Hint, hint, you'll see one a little bit later. But this one always was a personal favorite just because again, it utilized all different types of animals to convey one full message. And I think that's super cool. And this is my number seven pair. Number six, this shoe is based off of one of my all time favorite sneakers. This is the Air Max 90 Duck Camo Infrared. 
And when Nike came out with this pair, it basically combined two of my favorite things on sneakers, which is infrared coloring and camouflage. And it looks beautiful together. I've cycled through different color laces. I think black is probably what I prefer the most. I also have this pair instead of the infrared, it's got like a neon green or a ghost green as Nike calls it, which also looks very cool. I know they did one with team orange as well that looks fantastic. Infrared is one of my favorite colors that Nike has used for so many of their shoes, so many different models dating back to the Agassiz, the Air Max 180 Ultramarines, and of course the original Air Max 90. This shoe being in my top 10, just missing out on the top five, it's not a mystery. We are here at the top five, and let me tell you, it was no easy task picking this number five shoe, especially because when it first showed up, it was love at first sight. And that is none other than this Nike Dunk SB Low in the Strange Love colorway. And outside of my number one sneaker, the materials on this shoe are truly remarkable. You've got velvets and suede all over the shoe, like the entirety of the shoe. You've got a really cool sock liner and insole here. Bottom here, we've got a once semi-translucent sole with some really cool little candy hearts. Probably my favorite thing about this, I love that Strange Love logo right there. One of the coolest logos in the game, one of the coolest shoes in my collection, and somehow it is only Number five. Coming in at number four is a pair that I have put the most miles on since I've had them. It is the Vans Era, Fear of God in the Corduroy colorway. This pair, like straight up and down, I love Vans. I probably wear Vans more often than I wear Nikes. It's just an easy shoe to slip on, take it to the beach, wear out to the grocery store. The cool thing about these though, is they did a really good job with comfort. There's actually a lot more padding on this pair, especially back here and just around the whole sock liner, really. These actually are a very comfortable pair of Vans. I love corduroy. Corduroy is one of my all time favorite materials on anything, pants, hats, shirts, shoes. I love it. I think it looks fantastic right here in that bright red, the fear of God all over throughout the shoe. As you can tell, these are beat because, of, like I said, I have worn these a ton. I also have the white and black pair. There's just something about this corduroy red that I absolutely love, and it is my number four in my top 10 sneaker list. We're gonna kick off my top three with the most beautiful pair in my collection. Number three is the Nike Air Max One in the Para colorway. As you guys can see, I've been good about wearing my shoes. I still have not broken these out yet. I don't know why. There's just something about them that I love. I love the design. I love the different colors. I love just even like the little signature right there, Para. I just love the Air Max One silhouette. It's my favorite silhouette of any shoe. This combination is absolutely incredible. See the lace tips right there too? It's just a gorgeous shoe. I'm definitely gonna wear it in the spring or in the summertime for sure. And I'm surprised that it wasn't my number one, but there's two pairs that I own that I actually prefer a little bit more than this one. But this is a very strong shoe, and this is my number three. My number two shoe is, by definition, a lot of people's holy grail. And this is an incredible pair of Air Max Ones that Atmos did, as I hinted to earlier. This is the Nike Air Max One Atmos Elephant Jordan Edition. Yo, this shoe, like the last pair, is incredible. Again, favorite silhouette of all time, the Nike Air Max One. One of my favorite colors in this like jade turquoise that they use. Materials, premium. Elephant print like they normally do on Jordans, so sick. Wearability, incredible. Have I worn them yet? No, 
These are the two pairs. I don't know what it is. I'm having a hard time, but it's gonna happen. And the leather on here is so soft. The new buck is really sturdy. The elephant print is done really, really well. This came in a package actually with a Jordan 3 that I believe they did like a safari to. Wasn't a huge fan of that, but this pair, absolutely incredible. And it is my number two favorite sneaker in my collection. All right, we made it to my number one spot. The best shoe in my entire sneaker collection is none other than, if you guys know me, you know, you know what's been missing. And let me just say, it's not really one shoe because it was difficult to pick between these two colorways because I love them so much. This is an awesome, awesome collaboration. This is the Nike Dunk SB Low, Grateful Dead Dancing Bear in the Green Bear and in the yellow bear. Wow, these shoes are absolutely bonkers. This is just like I mentioned with the J Balvin Jordan, a phenomenal way of doing a collaboration. Grateful Dead is known for just having incredible merchandise, awesome colorways, awesome logos. These shoes are the perfect representation of that. It's hard to pick between which one is my favorite, Again, the green bear is great because it goes with Seahawks stuff. The yellow bear is good because it goes with Mariner stuff, which bias, but love that part of it. The insoles have really cool dancing bears on both of them, of course. The faux fur all over them is just so, so good. And then of course, we've got the cool little bears there on the tongues. These are an incredible, incredible sneaker. I have worn them so much. And one day I would love to get the orange bear to add to this collection. But until then, my number one sneaker in my collection is the Grateful Dead Dancing Bears. So there you have it, my top 10 favorite sneakers in my collection. This was not easy, trust me. There were so many shoes that I had to look through and see, is this in the top 10? It might be tomorrow, it might have been yesterday, but it wasn't today. Shout out to my SV4s. Shout out to my Jackie Robinson Dunk Lows, such cool pairs, but just didn't make it, at least for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and rocking with me. Post your 10 favorite sneakers in your collection below, and let's have a conversation. My name is Wiz. Peace.